Hi, I'm sure everyone here has been in a situation where you need information, but you can't find it in a language you understand. Luckily, we have Microsoft and Google to help us out, but they don't support the languages that most marginalized people speak. Throughout my career, I've heard from so many people that the aid system just isn't giving them what they need. There was the woman in South Sudan who asked me for burial cloths so that she could bury her dead with dignity. There was a tribal leader in Chad who wanted me to help educate the young men in his village to stop the endless cycle of violence. Or the woman who lived across the hall from me in Kyrgyzstan who just wanted information on how to stop her husband from beating her. They all have one thing in common. They all want to be understood and they want information and services they need. But too often, we don't hear them. The COVID pandemic has made face-to-face -face interviews nearly impossible. We do phone interviews, recording people's responses. But if they speak a marginalized language, our teams can't understand them. Even with Arabic, it takes 12 hours to transcribe and translate just one hour of recording. Most aid agencies don't bother. So our programs are ineffective. They don't meet people's needs. People lose trust in us. And ultimately, we don't do justice to people in need, in part because of communications barriers. TWB is tearing down those barriers. TWB uses advanced language technology adapted to the humanitarian context and focusing on languages that marginalized people speak. With our, with our solutions, aid agencies can process and understand thousands of people's voices. TWB's tools identify the language and convert the recordings to text. That makes it possible for us to easily translate them using machine learning, aggregate the responses, and analyze the trends. And a few hours later, give you a summarized picture of the needs and concerns. This helps leave no one behind. This is revolutionary. And only TWB can do it. No one else has the mix of marginalized language linguists, cutting edge language technology experts, conversational engineers, data scientists, and experienced humanitarians. The use cases are stunningly diverse. And our business model makes us attractive to organizations that recognize that only by listening to people and understanding them in their language will humanitarian efforts ever truly be successful. But we can't do it alone. We are fundraising $1 million to support language technology in 10 marginalized languages over the next three years. We need partners with use cases and data. Help us break down the barriers and do justice to people in need. Join us on this journey. Thank you.